I've done a few videos on my saw stop table saws that I've switched over to here in the last year. Obviously the namesake saw stop, they're a saw with a built-in system, a brake system, that if there's any conductivity in the, on the blade, and it's touching your hands to it, it will take this brake and much like an airbag in a car, it'll, it'll slam this chunk of aluminum up into the blade, stops the blade instantly, and then the whole mechanism falls below the table. And even with this, uh, I still think that this is one of the best saws, portable saws on the market. I don't choose the saw just because it has a break. It's got to be a good saw. I need, I've been using table saws for a long time, and I don't want to give up a good fence, uh, a powerful motor, and, the other, and a good dust collection, and the other things that are very important to me. But I am glad that it has this extra safety built in, and I hope that I never need it. Well, because it's conductive, it also will trip not only when it comes in contact with human skin, but will also trip if it comes into contact with metal or very wet woods. And in fact, I had an extra break and blade that I was going to make a video and purposely trip it. I was going to soak some woods and, and, and feed them through and see how wet it had to be uh, to make it go off. But I was, uh, had a little project, a little personal project to make a, a bracket with some strips of aluminum for my video camera to hold the microphone. And so I grabbed some angle and I needed it flat so I was just going to rip a piece off and I wasn't thinking. And I was careful with my hands but I wasn't thinking about the metal being conductive. It's not uncommon for me to cut uh, aluminums with my table saw or my miter saw. And it's, uh, so I started, I got it all set up and I started to feed it through. And it was like magic. Just all of a sudden everything stopped and the blade was gone. In fact, I didn't realize that the whole mechanism also falls below the table. So just the blade disappeared. And I thought it'd be loud and, uh, you know, kind of obnoxious sound with the aluminum slamming into the blade. But, uh, all I know is just boom, the blade was gone and I realized in the moment that I had made a big oops. So I thought I would just, uh, you know, let you take a see after the fact of what happened. So obviously this thing sort of explodes. The cartridge is not reusable. You have to have these and replace them. And then the blade gets embedded in there. It looks like the blade would be fine, but I don't know if you could ever get it out of there without destroying the teeth. So I'm just going to write off the blade and the brake and keep it around as a souvenir. And hopefully I'll never need, uh, never have another one of these in the shop. What was most amazing was I had a few pieces of aluminum around the shop. I'd cut this out of a longer piece. And so I was looking for the cut that I made and I grabbed the piece that I knew it was and I couldn't find it. And so I thought, well, maybe it was a different piece. I grabbed another one. And so then I realized, you know, I couldn't find it on there either. I realized, yeah, this was the one. So I started looking around and I found it. It was such a small nick. I put a, a mark with a marker around it so that I wouldn't lose it and I'd be able to find it. And I don't know if the saw will pick or if the camera will pick this up, but there is a nick right there. And that's what tripped the saw. So you can imagine if that was your hand or any part of your body, you probably are going to have a dot of blood, but there's going to be very, very little damage. So hats off to SawStop for coming up with this and the fact that I would have to replace the blade and the brake, which took only about five minutes. Uh, in fact, the, the only um, difficulty was that there's three points here that connect the, the brake to the saw and, and then the blade has its arbor. And so you remove one, just uh, flip it and pull it out. And then these two are fixed. So you've got three points and you just need to take your time and carefully pull them off all together. Um, because if you, if you get a little out of, you know, start pulling the blade or the brake a little ahead of one or the other, then it can start to bind. But I just carefully just, in fact, I took the um, a blade wrench that I had out to, to take the nut off 
and I just kind of worked them both out with that and it came off very quickly. So within five minutes, I had the new brake on, the new blade on, and I was back to cutting and I put the saw in the bypass mode and I went ahead and finished my project of cutting the aluminum. Well, if you like these tool videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, but most important, share the video with others. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.